Yeah, we'll have lots of time to play tomorrow. Maybe we could do some baking. You guys want to cook? Uh, cook what? Like cookies or something. I'm Sidian. I'm Tasha. I'm Sidian's wife. And, and we're, we're the, the Joneses. Joneses. Let's find a good spot over there. For some Frisbee. Yeah. We're a plural family, and we're seeking our next sister wife. To me, polygamy means a big, beautiful family and, and just kind of a happy, bustling home. For me, it's a really meaningful experience because having multiple people around really brings out different parts of myself. Um, and it helps me to grow. It helps me to self-reflect. I think there's one thing Sidia never says. He loves women, he does. And so he loves seeing them in the house together, like taking care of the kids. Women have a particular warmth and energy and to have more of that, I think is a beautiful thing. When I first came into the family and the relationship with Sidian, he already had a wife and kids. And so I came in as a second wife. As time went on, I think she just found herself falling out of love with the idea of polygamy, which was really sad because at the same time, I was falling in love with the lifestyle. And so she ended up deciding to leave. Um, and then after some time, I decided to stay. Looking back when we were good with our first wife, I just adore the dynamic of like extra moms for the kids and kind of having someone around all the time is, is something I really appreciate. Oh, a little too high. I have three kids. Tyrion is eight, Ellie is 10, and Liam is 14. Two of my kids live with me. That's Tyrion and Liam. <laughs> About a year and a half ago, my child was known as Lily, and now he's known as Liam. He prefers to go by a he and him. We fully support his direction, and potential sister wife will need to be able to accept my children for who they are. <laughs> we moved out of Boise, Idaho to Portland, Oregon. We just really wanted to make sure that our children didn't feel the stigma of LGBT issues or being in a polygamous family. And it's just a really accepting culture here. Oh, don't hold it like that, so dude. into your chest and then out. And where you go out, where you point it, is where it's going to fly. Awesome. When we were living in Boise, um, we'd had a few dates with a, a few different women there. So would you be open to going on a date with City and for both of us and exploring that? Just a date. What are you looking for right now? I'm not sure if I would even be able to commit to a polygamous relationship as I'm just starting to explore, you know? Sure. So far in our seeking, we haven't had a tremendous amount of success, but we know that it will enrich our lives and our children's lives. Yeah. Uh, reservations in general about... You feel like this maybe isn't the right path for you? Is that what you're saying? No. Okay. Things didn't necessarily work out in the end. It's really hard to find someone who meshes well with the kids or has chemistry with Sidian and works well with me. We choose to continue this lifestyle even though it's been difficult and, and trying at times because it's just something that we both really fell in love with and it, it makes us happy. All right, guys, we should go get your homework done. Got to get some dinner Wait. in us. Will you carry the Frisbee home? I have homework at home. If you don't have any, we'll make some for you. Yeah. Oh, what? no, Dad's not going to make you some. Ultimately, we decided to keep growing our family, and I'm so glad that we did, because there's a new woman in our life. And we think she could be our sister wife. Ariel is a Filipina woman who I've been dating long distance in the Philippines. She's a beauty pageant winner, and she is drop-dead gorgeous. Long, beautiful hair, perfect face, full lips, amazing body. Ariel is a friend I met at work, gosh, probably four or five years ago now. And I actually went on a work trip to the Philippines and spent a lot of time with her. I have brought up the idea with Ariel of just testing it out and trying to date Sidian because I just grown to really adore her as a person. And when thinking about somebody I'd want as a sister wife, she fits the bill. 
Ariel's perfect for us because she's so genuine. She has great uh, emotional intelligence. And she's not hesitant to boss Sidian around. She does do that. <laughs> oh, is she there? Hey, Ariel. Hi. Hi. How are you guys? We're doing good. Good. We've missed you and wanted to catch up with you. Missed you guys too. How about you? How are you and your family? They're actually already asking me what I wanted to do on my birthday because usually it's always my dad who gets excited to celebrate birthdays in a family. <laughs> and it's only November 1 and he's already asking me what I want to do. Yeah. <laughs> he so has yeah, energy. Uh oh. Video. There we go. We got you back. It's hard for us to date long distance uh, because it's a lot harder to communicate. Is, can you hear uh, us? Yeah, can you hear us? Yeah. I think. It's my internet. Could you please try that again? Your video is breaking up a lot too, but we just power through it. Your video is breaking. Ariel and I have not yet met in person. We've tried twice uh, to meet up with Ariel and uh, failed twice, uh, which is pretty discouraging. I get a little worried that Ariel would eventually say like, sorry guys, this is too much trouble for me. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. Plus the fact that she comes from a conservative background. I do worry a little bit that her family may not approve of the relationship. And so she might decide that she wants to pursue something easier. We really miss you and uh, we're gonna go for now, but it was great to see you again. Yeah, it's great to see you guys. Thank you for calling and I wish we could spend some time together soon. Yes. Yeah. I think the next step for us is we really need to meet up in person and make sure that the connection we have online is as good or better in real life. I'm worried if Ariel doesn't see Sidian soon, she's gonna lose hope in yeah. this ever working out and drop us.